Welcome to discussion with myself, Neil Urquhart, and my friend Matt Shearing. And we're going to talk today a bit about the Lightning Decision Jam, what that is, and why the hell you might want to use it. Matt, can you introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, I, I'm Matt Shearing, a designer, design thinker, and I help businesses and organizations to dive in deep to reach difficult decisions in a, a short space of time using the Lightning Decision Jam and other workshopping tools. Fantastic. Um, my name's Neil Urker, as I said earlier, and I've been a trainer, facilitator, and coach for 20 years. I facilitate, uh, for example, boards of directors, management teams, and team teams to reach difficult decisions as well, move past where they are and get to where they want to be. So, um, Matt, you're gonna ask me a question, weren't you? Yeah, it's, the question is, why would you use a facilitator to do a process like this? Uh, so, why would you need a facilitator? Why couldn't you just do it by yourself? Well, there'll be a few reasons. A few reasons would be if you need a neutral party. So, the neutral party might be necessary to engender trust or participation to get people on board. Maybe there's some distrust or vested interests within the organization or business. Um, if you yourself are vested, um, if you've got strongly vested in a particular position and you want some other possible alternatives, you want to have some to test your solution against other ones, that would be another reason. If you don't know what to do, if you've got an undefined approach, you don't know how to create a product or service, it's unclear or ill-defined, then that would be a good reason to bring somebody like my Matt or myself in. If there don't seem to be any good answers, it just seems to be you're blocked, you need new creative solutions, that would be a great reason. If you don't have a lack of, if there's a lack of expertise, and there's two areas in which you might have a lack of expertise, they would be in terms of the process, guiding people through uh, lightning decision jams or strategic planning or process improvement or resolving issues. Um, and the second one would be lack of experience in group dynamics. So if you're not an experienced group facilitator, there are all kinds of ways that it can go wrong, such as people falling out, uh, disagreement, conflict, um, the process stopping and you can't seem to get it going. If you're not experiencing managing group dynamics, then that would be a good reason to bring Matt and or myself in. If there are lots of strong opinions in the room already, you know maybe there's two big um, part or two ways of seeing things and there's two groups of people within your team who want to go a particular way or maybe there's multiple ways. We've got lots of strong characters in the room, then that would be a good reason. Um, if you need the team to own the, the problem and the result, that would be a great idea. Uh, if it's critical, if it's really important, that would be another, you don't want to mess this up. That would be another good reason to bring in a facilitator, you know, thinking about saving a few pounds um, versus uh, the cost of the process messing up. And if, if you said yes to any two or more of those reasons I gave, then you definitely want to bring in a facilitator. It's not a good idea to bring in a facilitator if a decision's already been made, if the decision makers are not open to alternatives, if the mission of the meeting is only for information only, you don't require any engagement, there's no creation. If the group is is relatively, is, is maybe just three people, then that might not be such a good idea or there's a commonality of opinion about how to proceed, then all of those would reasons would be not good. Let's talk a bit about though, about the lightning decision jam specifically, Matt. Why would people, what would be the pain and problems that people would be experiencing that they want to build, to come along and do lightning decision jam? Um, yeah, so so one of the sort of like the real, the, sort of uh, the best tools in the lightning decision jam is that it, it captures people that people talk, start off with looking at the problems they're facing. And there's this, this really great tool to, that re, helps reframe. So you, you go from a problem statement to a how might we statement. So this, what's, a this problem, kind of, what's a problem statement? Can you give an example, Matt? Um, so it might be um, like the office is too loud or online, working remote working is 
means that people aren't getting all the information they need. Um, right. yeah. So that'd be a classic sort of COVID one, lockdown one, that people aren't necessarily all working on the same spec for a document, that, you know, the kind of... The second, so using the how might we, you, you create, you, you reframe this into how might the team be better on the same page? And yeah. then you you have a kind of or specifications five, or specifications, yeah. yeah. And and the way it works is there's you're using this kind of sort of democratic dot voting where everyone you put all your like uh, the quickly just sort of um, it's kind of like crazy eight decision like coming up with lots of different solutions and then you you have a period where you all vote anonymously on these. Um, possible ideas that you want to take forward into the second half and it sort of it works through sort of widening listening and then sort of focusing down to actionable solutions so the first bit's a little bit like popcorn you you pop up lots and lots of different ideas and that's that's why it's really important for example i believe to not have much status in the group so everybody's involved there's no nobody gets to make decisions about how we proceed um, that's higher or uh, in the organization. Everybody's equal, everybody has an opinion and voice because especially for complex problems, in my experience, I've been running um, analyzing and solving problems workshops at the European Commission and the European Parliament, the European School of Administration for uh, 16 years. Uh, what happens is that with complex problems, anybody can have the, the, the right answer or a better answer expertise is reduced uh, or the influence of expertise is reduced and anybody could have a good answer so that's why you need to really get everybody involved everybody needs to feel like they're included their opinion is valued because that the lowly person the new person the person who is normally really quiet um, might have a brilliant idea and, and if with only with these kind of facilitation processes are you able to to get it out to get that get those ideas out and to maybe see things in a, a different way. Um, Einstein's definition of insanity is to keep doing the same things and expecting different results. So if you've been having useless, open-ended discussions, unstructured, trying to work on a problem, then this would be a kind of a good idea to bring somebody in to reach a lightning decision jam. Um, and how long, what's the sort of, time frame for decision jams map yeah so it i mean it's it's an hour to 90 minutes i think 90 minutes online just kind of we're gonna obviously in lockdown be using an, an on, online piece of software to actually run this but this this workshop normally would be in a room with lots of post-it notes and uh, sharpie markers but we don't need to do that we've got we're not doing that we're doing it on a, a piece of software a, a website called miro where all the boards are set up and you just come in and you kind of use virtual uh, notes but yeah I... notes. and they, they were it works really well as well that's one thing that i was surprised about matt when i started doing workshops in march last year um I, you know, previously everything I've been doing has been face to face and I've been really surprised since then in almost a year of leading exclusively leading workshops online that um, there's it, it's it works just as well. It's it's mm. really surprised. I'm really I was really surprised. Now I'm I'm much more of a fan of doing things online and uh, this kind of decision making process can work really well and everybody can as i said everybody can be involved at the same time what um what kind of problems would would uh organizations be working on what kind of issues we'd be facing you mentioned a couple of them earlier yeah and i think in a lot of ways, the lightning decision jam is is a kind of way into a kind of like say a design sprint. So a lightning decision jam is quite often it's just a kind of way of learning whether this is a better way of carrying out meetings. So you know it could just be like how do we you know I, like most organisations I've worked with you 
like half the team are communicating on WhatsApp, Slack, email, something will be in Dropbox. It's like there's this kind of just spread across and it might turn around and just be like, how? what's the most effective way of communicating across the team? And by sitting down, getting all the voices, kind of all the opinion, all the options and looking at that and in an hour making a decision and having an actionable solution, it's that kind of a great for a sort of like a, a start off problem. Yeah. So, fo so focusing team, because you've got so many, you've got so many people using so many platforms and different pieces of technology that, it, that you lose that focus and you're not able, and, and, and then you just get endless discussion and, and people don't really know where to go. Projects stall. Uh, I think, what I like about this, these types of processes is that they create a sort of structure and discipline, which create the right space to, um, to work creatively on a solution that otherwise you just wouldn't come up with. Um, and so, yeah, some, so, I mean, for in my own experience, for example, um, working with boards of directors or senior management or, um, regular teams they might be working out what how can we move forward with a particular process like for example what are the tactics for our next marketing campaign how can we improve our sales flow how can we improve our office environment how can we keep up with our competition how can we um, improve the conversion flow on our website for example or improve our internal design process uh, so all of those might be good reasons to to use a uh, lightning decision jam so you start off as matt you were saying you start off at this this big sort of popcorn uh, ideation and generating ideas and then what happens yes yeah, so it it's it starts off with sort of listening and then from that kind of wit breadth it, it's it's a it's a process of definition so it's defining listing priorities and then the ideation. So it kind of, it, it's, it's very much like the double diamond, which is a sort of design thinking model created by the design council. But it's that ideation that then goes into a second round of lots of ideas of solutions. So you work from listing the problems and figuring out which problem is, is kind of key to being addressed. And then the second half is looking at the, the, all the different solutions and working which of those solutions and trying them out, but basically aligning them to an effort impact grid. So you're looking for that, that sweet spot of what's a really low impact, but like really high impact, low effort sort of solution that can be implemented as this is your your kind of key takeaway, but also you, you get a bit of a backlog of some of the longer sort of, it might be a bit more effort and a bit longer term, but that's actually also a key learning that needs to take place further down the line. At the end of this process then you, so you basically, you actually what you're doing is you've got several mini expansion and contraction processes. So you, you generate things and then you sort, you eliminate, and uh, remove duplicates for example then you do that again and come and, and you're ending up at the at the bottom of the this kind of process or the end of this kind of process by uh, with a number of refined solutions uh, yes. some that are low um, low effort and high impact and some that would take more effort but would be would be great ideas so you're sort of being able to at the end being able to categorize and see clearly um, what are good things to work on next. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah. 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 Good. I think that's um, I think that's enough for now. Um, we are running, we're offering to run a lightning decision jam in your organization. Uh, please get in touch with either Matt or myself uh, if you want to work with us.